Hello everyone. It's me, the wannabe gardener. Cause I'm a wannabe gardener, and um, I'm sure I'm hope you want to be a gardener too. That's supposed to be kind of funny, but anyway, let me show you what I got going on back here in my backyard. Uh, made a few things this morning. Uh, it's kind of cloudy out here, kind of chilly, so that's good. It keeps me from sweating up a storm. Anyway, uh, what I did was I'll start showing you here. Here's those crates I mentioned last. Uh, last video I think or maybe I didn't but these crates here um, they're pretty good for planting I seen them they throw them away and you can probably find these if you have a Mex Mexican restaurant by your neighborhood they throw these out you see them by the dumpsters no Taco Bell is not a Mexican restaurant anyway those are the crates these here they have only a few holes on the bottom these here you might have to put something on the bottom to keep keep everything from draining out so I have both this one here I did this to it and I put some strawberry strawberries in it okay I put some strawberries in it and my mixture in there was peat moss compost and perlite and I threw a lot of different nutrients in there hopefully that works out and then you have these these are a little different so with these I put the landscapers cloth okay I put the landscapers cloth on the bottom and on the side. I cut it out with a scissor and I'll show you what I got. Here are the crates. Right now I just got them like this, trying to get them out the way while I continue working on it. But um, if you can see, I put the I put the landscaper's cloth, cut it out, and then I put it in there and then I just taped it down. The tape eventually will come off, I'm sure, with the heat. But then I can just cut up here and that's fine because now the weight is just holding it all in. And as you can see, the bottom is good. And I got five of them right now. I want to get a sixth one. And then I'll move on to something else. But that's what I got. And let me show you what else I got. I got that big bag bed. This is that big bag bed. And I'll show you the, the cover of this. This is the big bag bed. It is 13 square feet. 13 and a half square feet of growing. It holds a half a cubic yard. So you know you need to buy in bulk. It's 50 inches in diameter, 12 inches tall. It takes 100 gallons. Well, I'm not good with math, so what I did was I simply took the 100 gallons and I can divide that, no problem. So I was trying to do square foot gardening on these and I know the square foot gardening uh, mixture calls for one third compost, one third peat moss or coconut core and one third perlite or vermiculite. And therefore, I figured if it takes 100 gallons, that means that's 20 five gallon buckets. 20 of those five gallon buckets. So I took seven buckets of compost, which is under there, seven buckets of perlite, which is there already empty, and seven buckets of peat moss, which is this one here. If you get a chance, this one here I bought at a big box store at Lowe's nine bucks majestic earth brand and this one here I bought at Home Depot Turbono Turbuno Torby that's the name of the brand uh, I suggest do not buy that Home Depot one buy the that one that one the majestic earth is a lot better than that other one is a lot better um, so anyway that's the mixture I made and in this one here, I used the vermiculite. If you can tell, it's a little darker. This one's a little brighter, and I used the perlite. And these hold 13 square feet, and they're supposed to last a long time. They're supposed to last a very long time. As you notice, I did put them on a rug, and that's what I got them on. Um, and that's the reason why I want to. I got these stacked because I want to get another rug laid down over here. I just got to go find the dumpster to find that rug in, because I'm not buying it. Anyway. Uh, another thing I had going on I showed last time was this right here. This is about 8 inches above the ground, but it goes another about 10 to 12 inches below. Um, after I did this, I said, no mas. I'm not doing that no more. Hence, I'm going above the ground. It was a lot of work to go below the ground. A lot of back-breaking work, so I'm not doing that no more. Uh, and then I put the little worm tube. I made a PVC pipe, put some holes in it, put the holes in the ground. Filled it up with some newspaper, some leaves, 
and put some worms in there. And they're munching away right now. I'm hoping they multiply pretty soon so I can get more worms. And uh, the, the reason for that is you're hoping that worms eat what you put in there. And as they go and travel out of the little, the little holes I made, I don't know if you can see any. Well, they're small, you know, quarter inch holes, half inch holes. And they'll travel outside the hole into my garden area. Take a dump and fertilize. And then come back and eat. So hopefully you can train them. They know where the food is at. They don't go too far away from the food, just like any other animal. And that's about all I got going on right now. Well, I'm hoping that you enjoyed this little mess I got back here. But I'm still got a lot of work, a lot of work to be completed. Hopefully, it's all done, and I can grow a lot. Those are my trees from last year. Uh, some of them made it, some of them didn't. Those over there probably didn't make it. I'm holding on. For a few more days and see what happens but the cold got to those but that's all i got going on right now i'm hoping to make another video in the near future i got some ideas i want to try out with some grow bags and let's see how that works out anyway uh thanks for watching my videos i hope you enjoyed the video from me the wannabe gardener and i hope that you want to be a gardener too growing something that you can grow yourself to eat god bless you and have a nice day